In most of the videos on this channel, we talk about all of the really cool tools that you can use in your accounts to save time or get more efficient, but this video is gonna be just a touch different. Instead, I'm gonna be talking about one of the tools that can do some things that are unintended consequences if you're not careful with it. It happened to me, and I'm hoping to prevent it from happening in your accounts. What I'm talking about today is the Facebook bulk edit tool, and we had an account that needed to have spend scaled up and down during a given time period, but unfortunately, the tool didn't really do exactly what it was supposed to. So in this account, I wanna show you what the tool is intended to do, how it works, the problem that I had with it, and then hopefully give you some strategies so you don't run into the same issue that I did. Before we jump into the platform, I wanna talk about a fundamental principle of scaling budgets on Facebook, because this is what I was trying to achieve. It's important for you to understand this before I talk about the problem, so ideally you can see the weight that the issue carries. This is a portion of a blog post that I wrote some years ago that talks about ways of scaling Facebook campaigns. And the number one thing that I talk about is making sure that you're making adjustments of 20% or less of your original budget every day until you achieve the budget level that you want. In the table here, you can see that for doubling your budget, that would take about four changes. For cutting your budget in half, takes three. Now, although I looked for it, couldn't find any sort of documentation out there that talks about the 20% rule, but this is commonly discussed in the industry as the benchmark for what your budget adjustment should be. By making regular adjustments of 20% day over day, you will eventually reach the budget level that you want, but you will also keep yourself out of the learning phase on Facebook. I'm not gonna go too far into what the learning phase is, but effectively it just means that you're resetting some of Facebook's machine learning and it's starting to question some of its fundamental principles when you enter that phase. And if your campaigns have been performing well, especially if maybe you wanna double the budget because they're performing so well, probably in your best interest to stay out of the learning phase. Now for the account we're gonna talk about today, we needed both increases and decreases in budget because of performance shifts that we were trying to accommodate for in the account. So all this to say, every adjustment I'm trying to make in an account for a daily budget for this account is gonna be 20%. So I'm in the account itself. I've narrowed it down to only a few ad sets that we're gonna look at just to keep the screen from being too overblown. Now, all these changes were done pretty recently within the past month. And right now, all the daily budgets are set at $400, but a while back, they were a little bit more diverse. The first thing I wanna show you is how we were making these budget adjustments in the account to try and achieve the 20% changes. The first thing I would do is select all of the ad sets I wanted this to apply to. Then I'd come over to the drop down next to edit and click budget. Now we have an editor window where we can edit each of the individual budgets that are located here. What this does is it helps a little bit instead of needing to go from ad set to ad set, clicking the button, manually typing in the change after manually calculating the 20% and then doing that for each ad set. As I mentioned, this is a very limited view. We have probably 45 ad sets active in this account. So four doesn't seem like a lot, but 45 is quite a bit, especially when the numbers aren't quite as round as $400 a day. So again, to make those changes, we would be in the budget editor. And then rather than trying to type in each of the individual budgets here, what I would actually do is choose from the drop down here to increase the daily budget or decrease on any level. You can then see that you have a percent or dollar sign here. And to keep with the 20% rule, you guessed it, I would type in 20%. And now to cement the change, all I would do is hit the enter button. And now the budgets have been adjusted up to 480, which is a 20% increase. I would then go down and click publish and we were off to the races. But rather than click publish, what I'm actually gonna do is click save to draft. And if this works the way it has multiple times this morning, I want you to keep an eye on the 480 number. So if I click save to draft, that adjusted up to 576. So what happened is that the budgets were adjusted once from 400 to 480 when I hit enter. And then as soon as I hit save to draft, the budgets increased yet again to 576. Now, if we do the math on that, the $176 change that we went from $400 to 576 is actually a 44% change. So for whatever reason, since I clicked enter and save to draft, the budget is now increased by 44%. 
I'm just going to discard the draft because I really don't want that to stick for right now. But in case you were wondering where this story is, you guessed it, that this is effectively what happened over the course of the adjustments that we were trying to make this month. So I just clicked into one ad set to keep it easy. I'm going to go back to the change history. I filtered all the changes for the budget. And here you can see each line item that was executed and that we had both decreases down below, but then we also started to increase the budget back up. Now there is a double line item for January 12th. We decided that we just needed to get even more aggressive on Facebook. So it was worth shifting back into the learning phase. But every single one of these line items was only done at the 20% increment. And yet a lot of the adjustments were a different percentage. For example, the first three changes were of 36%, 59%, and then another 36%. So we already saw the example of how a budget could be adjusted and potentially be in the 44% range with the double adjustment to increase the budget. My guess is that that's how this 36 and 36% came, but either depending on the number of times you hit enter, or if you say something to draft and then hit publish, whatever you're doing, sometimes your budgets can be adjusted by 20% three times before you actually publish them to the platform. That's what happened here when we went from 896 to 367. So the long and the short of this video is going to be how to not have this happen. If you have only a small handful of ad sets, I encourage you to just manually adjust them here, keep track of it, and don't worry about the budget tool. But if you do have a larger number of ad sets and you do need to have things done on a bulk level, you can still utilize this tool, but keep a very close eye on it. Ideally, you can just set your budget or even just use the fields here and manually adjust what you want them to be by that 20% increase or decrease. My guess is that I wouldn't have had any issues if I would have just come in here and said that I wanted my budget to be 480 because then as soon as I hit save to draft, there's nothing for Facebook to calculate it on, right? It all just goes back to 480. But if you must, you can utilize these tools. Just make sure that after you hit the 20% increase, we'll say, know that even if you don't hit enter, as soon as I click out of the text field, you can see my cursor clicking. As soon as I click out of it, it's already adjusted for me. Then if I go to save to draft, luckily at this point, it did not double them again. You could then review and publish from here. But even after all of these changes publish, make sure that you had some idea of what your daily budgets needed to be. Come back, check on them after it's published and make sure that it was only increased by 20% or decreased by 20% and not 36, 44, 59%. As I mentioned earlier, this video is quite a bit different than some of the other ones we've had before. This tool can still be used and can still be taken advantage of, but don't make the same mistakes I did. This was my first time running into this error and I took Facebook ads for granted. I assumed that the tool would work properly and that I wasn't doing anything wrong and that every time the budgets increased or decreased, it was only by the 20% the one time. But now I know that that's not quite how this tool works and you need to keep a closer eye on things. Hopefully you haven't had any issues like this in your accounts, but please learn from my mistakes. Make sure that you're double checking everything and don't assume the tools are going to do what you want them to, even if you think you've utilized them right. If you have any additional questions about Facebook budget shifting, how to adjust Facebook budgets or anything else on the Facebook platform, feel free to leave us a note in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.